So I think most of us have heard um, the statement, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So here's the question. What happens and what do you get when you force the horse to drink? And the answer is you get a dead horse because you drowned it. It still doesn't want to drink, but you forced its head under the water or you forced its nose and mouth, its breathing area, into the water to a point where you are basically insisting your values, your help, your assistance, whatever it is you're trying to impose upon somebody, your will, your energy, uh, to somebody who may not be ready for the water or the changes that you can bring them to. And that's okay. I think we've all gone through that where we've had our stages where we weren't prepared to hear sometimes a hard truth. We weren't prepared to grow into that moment. We weren't prepared for what life had thrown towards us. And we've had the people who want to help us and they really want to help us. But as we all know, change doesn't happen until we change our mind. And so what happens in that moment is you can have uh, a frustration between people who I really want to help you. And the people are like, I don't want your help or I really want the help, but I don't know what to do with it. And so we get to this point where it's pushing the head under the water. Here, drink. Here's water. You're thirsty. You need it. You need the hydration, but I'm not thirsty or I'm not, I don't need this much water or I'll get to the water when I, I just need a moment. And so you end up with something that is far worse. And that's over, I guess, is over exuberance in wanting to help somebody and you can actually push them away or they will push you away uh, because either way you can become so frustrated. I'm, I'm done. I'm just not going to help you anymore. You're not listening to me. I gave you all these things and they're just not ready for it. Or they may say to you, look, I get it, but you know, I'm not you. I'm not perfect. And then they go away. And what you need in that moment is to be able to slow yourself down, calm yourself down, bring it to a level where the energy that is being extended in the form of assistance is not overbearing. And the acceptance is at least acknowledged to say, I see what you're doing. I will take that into consideration and I will work on whatever it is that I need to work on. Um, and therefore, I think it can bring a peaceful resolution to it. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be on either person's time frame because life can give us epiphanies that we're not always like, Oh, I get it right now. But as long as that help is always there, the support, I'm here if you need me. Here's what I would do. Here's what I think about it. Then I think you have a great chance at the other person receiving it and saying, okay, this is where I'm going to go with it. And I hear you loud and clear and I appreciate you. Guys, what, do you, what are your thoughts? What's your ace up the sleeve? Your advice, comment, experience. And um, hopefully this finds everybody in a good place. And we will see you very soon. Hey. No, it's all right. Come on. Peace, love, unity, solidarity. Sorry, Dad. No, you're fine. Are you sure? Yep. You weren't recording, were you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's all right. You need water? Yeah. Okay.